Hello everyone, it's been a while and I haven't been at home for a couple of weeks so I couldn't release new videos but I'm back. So today we have another triple skinning video and it's going to be Competizione and quickly I would like to show you a few settings because I had to reduce a few of them. Also please excuse me for filming with the phone instead of recording because recording triple screen is very difficult so here we are so as you can see the resolution is obviously bugged i used uh, configuration files to enable triple 4k resolution so please ignore that and scrolling down the settings you can see that dlss is enabled and i used balance setting and pretty much all main settings are maxed out except few so i reduced mirror frame rate limit to 45 fps and mirror resolution to medium and that's pretty much it for settings and let's get to the gameplay And so for gameplay I use uh, three races. The first one is versus 29 AI in Norbergren. The second one will be online server with around 24 players and the third one is going to be in Mount Panorama with again 29 AI count. So I purposely started from the back to increase the load on CPU because all cars will be drawn and it's pretty much the most demanding way to test this game. Previously there were few servers with even more players online but I couldn't find any in today so this is the max I could get. Also, please excuse me for hardly readable OSD because the HUD of the game also was at the same place as MSI Afterburner, so yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, but I think it's still readable. So shortly about this simulator, I think it is the best way to get into GT3 racing or even for online racing and GT3 cars are very easy to control but relatively hard to master I would say. Usually when I play the simulator I don't play it with AI but on multiplayer as for me it's way more interesting because against AI you can sometimes predict their moves and you can cheese them I would say in some areas. Of course, how can you not mention the sound of the simulator? In my opinion, it's one of the best on the market. The second one would be Race Room Racing Experience, which I already tested and you can find on my channel. I think I will link in this video as well. So about the bugged resolution, it's kind of annoying because Earlier in the lifespan of this simulator, it used to be fine and it used to detect my native resolution, which is triple 4K. But after some patch, it broke, and the only way to enable that resolution again is to go through configuration files, which you can find in here. I will show you the location of this file. Now you probably notice that I'm still not reaching 60 FPS, at least solid 60, but I could easily do that with reduced settings. So for this case I specifically wanted to stress my GPU as much as I could, so only mirror settings were reduced a little bit, which in my opinion are not really that important. And yeah. Recently they introduced DLSS, which is very welcome addition and it really helps a lot, especially in this resolution. Left. 
So I've been hearing and seeing a lot of people that says that this game is seriously unoptimized. And honestly, I really don't agree with them. Because many people regard optimization as high FPS, as simple as that, but it's really not. And when you consider the AI count and the age of the simulator compared to other popular simulators which are really dated at this point and comparing 2018 simulator to something like 2012 simulator in terms of optimization and FPS is really not fair in my opinion. So I have another spare computer which is based on core to quad gtx 650 ti boost and 8 gigabytes of ram and with that almost maybe more than 10 year old pc i managed to run with 16 ai at more than 30 fps so when you put it that way when you can run with such an old computer the most recent simulator i don't think it's that unoptimized yes it's demanding but if you want to run it smoothly just reduce few settings because the simulator is very flexible with those settings and some of those especially at epic quality are very demanding so even at this case i could just easily put it at high and easily reach 60 fps but nonetheless at max settings at this resolution it is one of the most demanding currently using max settings or very close to that so as you can see the total vram allocation is very high so you can see that the game usage and allocation are very different but don't think that the game usage as shown here is the only stat that matters the allocated VRAM is also very important and the truth where the requirements are somewhere in between those two so the GPUs with 8 gigabytes of RAM will struggle seriously on this load I tested on my GTX 1070 quite a while ago and it struggled so bad like it was pretty much unplayable on this resolution because mostly of course because that GPU wasn't powerful enough but also it haven't had enough VRAM for that as well so GPUs with 16 gigabytes or more would be preferred choice for this simulator So for now I'm leaving you with the awesome sounds that this simulator has and the gameplay and for now thank you as always for watching and see you next time.